Hey, hey Emmanuel. Hmm? What's a hacker? What's a hacker? Mm -hmm. You know, it's a good question. Um, one I don't get asked nearly enough. Too many people assume they know what a hacker is and they don't actually think it through. But a hacker is somebody who simply asks a lot of questions, does a lot of experiments, doesn't like to accept rules that don't make any sense, and basically is an individual. And you can find hackers pretty much anywhere. Most, most importantly, someone who shares information, tells people what they, what they find, uh, and, and lets them know, hey, look what I discovered, look at this weakness in some system someplace. And that's kind of the reason why hackers always get in trouble, because they don't keep things to themselves, they let the world know. Okay. So, um, rules that don't make any sense. Mm -hmm. This, see, like rules set out by major corporations, people who make technology, the government, that sort of thing? Yeah, yeah, no, you got it. Uh, it's, it, it's pretty much anyone who's in control. You can see this, um, those of you in school, uh, your teachers, they want to stay in control. They're afraid of people who might know more than they, uh, they're afraid of people who might show them to be incompetent. Or, uh, or practicing bad security. And that's why we find that kids in, in schools, elementary schools, high schools, even college, uh, they get disciplined way too much when they discover something and bring it to the attention of the people in charge. And that's sort of, that's a very bad thing to do because that makes people not want to tell those in charge that they have a problem. And then they keep it to themselves and they start acting like they're criminals when they're not. Someone who exposes a weakness and, and, and shares that is actually doing a tremendous service. Hmm. I'm used to my sister, you know, who says that she's a hacker. And, well, I didn't know what it meant. When I first heard her say it, I thought back to what I'd seen on the news and, you know, in movies and stuff. And I was like, okay, are you a bad guy? Are you, are you hacking databases and government stuff? Like, what does that mean? Well, I mean, that's the mass media interpretation of what a hacker is. And a lot of people like to call themselves hackers because it's, dare I say, a kind of a badass thing to be. Um, but just because someone says they're something doesn't necessarily mean that's what they are. I mean, I know people who say they're puppets, but they're not. <laughs> I can tell. Yeah, well, we're the real deal here. No posers. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and we get offended when people go around saying they're hackers and really all they do is play with a laptop and a telephone and uh, don't really have any skills. So here's a question. Why are mm. hackers... So concerned with getting into things like iPhones and Xboxes and stuff. Well, a very simple reason. We all have these things. We all have smartphones and, and video game consoles. And, and they're, they're pretty smart. They come smart. And they also come with all kinds of restrictions. You can't download this particular type of program. You can't run this without paying some other company. And hackers love to figure out ways around these pseudo security systems. I mean, it seems pretty useful. It's, it's actually kind of nice to be able to use an iPhone if you don't necessarily have AT&T when they first came out or, mm -hmm. you know, play the games that you want to play on your, your console. Why don't corporations just do that to begin with? It's, it's all about control. It's about making more money by having people buy the same thing more than once. For instance, you might not know this, DVDs, the DVDs that we play here in our country, you can't play over in Europe. You have to buy them again. Right, right. Anytime I want to watch my animes, I have to make sure that they come on the right formatted disc. It's crazy. Right. You can hack a system and make it so you can watch DVDs from all over the world, and that seems fair. But in corporate America or the, or the corporate world, they want to be able to sell it multiple times to different markets, and they put these pseudo-restrictions into place that force people to play by their rules. Hackers basically challenge those rules and show ways around them. And you're doing that for all kinds of information, not just programs and, and uh, other useful things. You, you are dedicated to making sure that people have access to information. Yeah, basically, hackers make it um, so that you ask the question, is this something I really need to abide by or can I do it a, a more efficient way? Uh, is technology going to control my life or am I going to shape technology to suit my life? Hmm. I imagine that you're on a lot of um, lists for the government and traveling may be kind of difficult. Uh, it seems like you, you make yourself targets um, more often than not by doing all this sort of that, thing. How do you live with that? That's a common perception that by asking questions and challenging authority, you make yourself a target. And it would be a lot easier if you just simply kept your mouth shut and faded into the background. That's not what hackers do. We can't. It's just not in our blood to be able to do that. 
Um, we challenge things at every opportunity. We ask, does this actually make sense? If we see something stupid, we point it out to the world. Now, that doesn't necessarily get us on list just by doing that. Uh, a lot of us do wind up on, on some kind of a list. But I think what it really winds up doing is getting people to think for themselves. And that's truly the goal. Like, for instance, at airports, we're told that certain security measures are meant to keep us safe. And we're there to say, no, it doesn't keep you safe. But yeah, it's about, it's about challenging the system. Uh, and, and, and basically turning what we believe, what we believe in on, on its ear. And if you still believe in it after that, then at least you know why. You know, and we see a lot of, um, of things going on, uh, with groups like WellSec, Anonymous, where they're going around turning what we believe in on its ear. And doing so by hacking websites, or by just uh, even having real life demonstrations, doing all kinds of, of things that really the rest of us should have been doing all along, and making us think, wow, why do we believe this? Why, why aren't we calling these people liars who tell us this? Why don't we challenge the media? Why don't we do things ourselves? And it's just, it's good to see that kind of a thing happening. And that, my, that's what I consider to be real happiness. <laughs>